Hey, this is Chef Robert, and today I'm making smoked Polish sausages in a blanket. This is your list of ingredients for the bread dough. So you're going to need four cups of self-rising flour, uh, one tablespoon of dry active yeast, I like Red Star, um, and one tablespoon of sugar with one and a half cups of warm water. Mix the yeast and the sugar with the warm water. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and it'll get all frothy like that. Then put your flour in your bowl and we're gonna add the yeast, sugar, and water together. And you're gonna need to use a dough hook uh, for your bread dough. And then put your liquid in. Um, then you're gonna mix it on number one speed. You don't want to take it past number two speed because that'll be too much pressure on the engine and you could tear up your KitchenAid mixer. So just leave it on one until it's mostly mixed and then we'll drain it up to two for the final mixing on the for the dough. And then when you get a nice smooth dough that doesn't stick to your fingers when you pinch it, take it out, put it in a bowl oil the bottom of the bowl and then oil the top of the dough cover with plastic and let it rise for about an hour hour and a half now we're going to cut our polish sausage um so we got uh, smoked polish sausages and we're going to cut each one into five pieces and we're going to saute those brown them really nicely in the whole butter I love the taste of butter so we're just gonna brown them real nice in whole butter until they're nice and dark golden brown on all sides and you just cut them into five pieces per sausage these are the little miniature pigs in a blanket so melt your butter then we're gonna put our sausages into it and I'm using uh, red pepper flakes in mine. I like my food spicy. So a little red pepper flakes, maybe about a half a tablespoon, a teaspoon I guess, yeah. And then a little bit of kosher salt. And then you're just going to cook them until they're dark golden brown. And when they're nice and dark golden brown on all sides, you're going to put them into a bowl and just set them on the side till you need them. And you just take a uh, wooden pair wooden spoon or whatever tool you're using i like to use tongs but um then we're going to roll out the dough and it's about an ounce ounce and a half per dough ball and you're going to roll it out um nice and thin on the cutting board you don't want too much flour on the cutting board because you need the dough to be able to stick together when you're crimping the edges so you pull up all four sides crimp them together and you're going to do all your sausages with your dough like this you're going to put them on a a half sheet pan with parchment paper and you're going to turn your oven up to 375 degrees preheat your oven for about 15 minutes so it's nice and hot um and this is actually pretty simple to do real simple recipe i'm just trying to do simple recipes that don't cost that much money because of the economy so bread dough is cheap and the bar as sausages are not expensive so just roll out your dough <clears throat> put your sausages in and pull them up on all four sides crimp the edges and then bake them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes in a preheated oven at 375 degrees now you want to get them dark golden brown and after they come out of the oven you really do want to just soak them in butter so just take whole butter and melt it and use a pastry brush and then when they come out of the oven just literally soak them it gives them a really nice color really nice shine and that's pretty much it um, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the food. Um, thanks for watching. This is Chef Robert. 
at Old School Gourmet Treats. Please subscribe, it's free. Again, that's Old School Gourmet Treats at YouTube. Please subscribe because it's free. Again, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the food. That's Chef Robert at Old School Gourmet Treats at YouTube. Thanks for watching.